Hello! Today I am going to be showing you how I center my clay on the wheel. Without further ado, let's get started. When you are throwing on the wheel, everything that you're going to make has a base shape of a circle. So cylinder, it starts with a circle and it has tall walls, a plate, it's circular, a bowl, it has the base of a circle and it kind of flares out like this. You can alter it afterwards to be a different shape, you can add things to it, but the wheel throwing part, you need everything to be circular. And so that's why centering is so important, you're trying to get it symmetrical and even, that'll make pulling a lot easier and it'll make everything look more even. As a beginner, I would probably recommend somewhere around two pounds. If you have bigger hands, you can do a little bit more. If you have smaller hands, you can do a little bit less. Before we even start throwing, to set yourself up for success is how you're sitting at the wheel. Your legs should be straddling the wheel. Make sure that your chair isn't too high or too low. You want to have your legs at around a 90 degree angle. You want your legs to be pretty flat. I try to remember centering with four very simple steps. Elbows in, brace, butterfly fist, and lean. My feet are firmly planted on the floor. And the most important thing for centering is stability. In order to be stable, I don't want any floating elbows. I always want to be braced. So to do that, the best way that I found is I'm going to bring my elbows into my stomach and then I'm going to brace my forearms on the splash pans. Then for the hand shape, I'm going to make a butterfly and then with my right hand, I'm going to make a fist. This is the hand position that you're going to go straight down with and cup your clay. Your left hand is going to kind of hug the clay body and your right fist is going to press downwards. With your left hand, you're going to be pushing outwards away from you at around a one o'clock position. Your right hand is going to be pushing down. You don't want to push straight down in the middle. You want to push down at around a 45-ish degree angle, just like this and press down. The pressure points where you're gonna make contact are right here and right here. I'm gonna be showing you the hand positions from a few other angles. I would highly pay attention to where exactly my hands are making contact with the clay. I make the butterfly, I make a fist with my right hand, and then I'm pushing outwards with my left hand while I push down with my right. And this is how it looks from a different angle. So butterfly fist onto the clay. And the last part of centering is the lean. So I want to lean forwards and use my body weight to press into the clay and center it. My head is looking, if I look straight down with my head, it's at the edge of this bat, like right here. Elbows in, brace, and lean. Question that I get very frequently during um, my beginner classes is, how do you know if the clay is actually centered? Just take your finger, run it up and down the clay, and if you feel any bumps like outwards like this, feel your finger moving side to side, it's not centered. So if I push this off, off center, I can, you can see my finger, it moves side to side. You can feel it. It goes bump, 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 bump. It's not centered. Versus down here where it is centered, my finger's not moving. So that's how you can tell if your clay is centered. If you don't put enough downwards pressure, your clay is going to get taller like this. This is happening because I'm not putting enough downwards pressure. If you don't put enough outwards pressure, your clay is going to get flat. And it might do this thing called mushrooming, where you see it starts to sort of look like a mushroom. This is happening because I'm not putting enough outwards pressure. This can create a lot of problems down the line because if the clay folds over, it can create air bubbles. So 
so this is bad you want to make sure you are pushing out and down at around the same force so if you do that you'll see you get this nice dome shape i like to have my wheel speed at around max speed when i'm centering you might want to go a little bit slower if you're just starting out but you do want to have your wheel speed be pretty fast um, make sure you're adding enough water if you have friction on your clay it'll cause your hand to bounce on the clay which will make it less centered so having enough water is very important things that i would try and remember Tuck your elbows in, make sure you're braced, use your body to lean onto the clay. Make sure your wheel is going at full speed and make sure you're using enough water. Centering is probably the hardest part to get completely correctly. I think people struggle with pulling the walls because their pieces aren't centered as much. Um, so don't get discouraged if you're having trouble with it or if you don't get it the first few times that you do pottery. The best way to improve your centering is just to practice a lot. If you're a beginner, I highly, highly recommend watching a lot of different videos and trying out many different techniques to see what is the best method for you. Keep at it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you next time.